Hi everyone! I hope that you guys are doing amazing wherever you are in the world. My name is Boom Shaka and I welcome you to my channel. As always, I'm so grateful that you're listening, subscribing, and commenting. I really appreciate the support. In this one, I wanted to answer another question by a viewer, a really great question, something that I struggle with myself, that I found loop arounds or turnarounds, or not turnarounds, but uh, way around it fallback positions. I don't know how to call it. Anyways, I found ways to go around the situation. And so I wanted to share my views and my fallbacks or my term, my way around, loop arounds. Anyways, and the, the question is about paperwork. And she's an INFJ and she says, you know, one of the things that I have a really hard time with is paperwork, like administrative stuff. And she notices that, you know, she will have all of these administrative things that she has to do and she will procrastinate on it over and over and over and over again until the end of time until it's too late and you know she has to get it done and then she does it so in most things INFJs are pretty good with it, like especially if you care about things and I've said this before if that's the reason I've told you guys to find a career or a job where you really care about it because otherwise you're going to procrastinate and you're not gonna like it and you're going to keep on feeling at it, you're gonna keep on quitting at it, it, it just not going to jive with you, you're not gonna spend time doing it. That's one of the reasons why I quit my jobs in the past so many times. I would work for a few months and then get bored and then leave and everyone around me, my bosses would notice that I was just losing interest very quickly, very, very rapidly. I assumed there was something wrong with me, but then I realized that I wasn't choosing the right occupation for me. I wasn't interested in it. I didn't care about it. Now, obviously, in my work that I do, I am. I wake up in the morning. I wake up at 5, and I'm, like, static and ready to go. And I'm like, yeah, another day. Another day I get to work and write. I'm so excited, etc., etc., right? And so, again, as I said, you need to be interested in things that you are doing, especially career-wise, because that's a major chunk of our life. We spend one-fourth or one-third of it, you know, working. And so it, one third, I think. And so it's very important that we do something that we care about. Otherwise, we're going to hate ourselves and hate our lives. So in general, if we don't care about something, uh, and that includes a lot of different things, then we just not do it. And I've just had the stubbornness, the streak within them, this, this thing that says, I don't like it. I'm not going to do it. We're like a toddler. We're throwing a tantrum and we're just not, you, you can't force, force us to do it, right? If, if we don't want to do it, no one can push us to do it. So the basic idea is that if we need to get something done, we need to push ourselves to it. We, we cannot do it based on certain external motivators. It's not going to work. I've noticed for myself, like if I don't want to do something, I will either do a very poor job of it. I used to do that in the past because I was like, all right, fine, I'll just do a really poor job of it. But now I'll just be like, no, I'm not doing it. Uh, the pay someone else to do it or I will find a, a loop around. Uh, or I'll find some other way to get it done rather than me pushing myself and, and just really killing myself in the process, right? Now, INFJs are also big picture thinkers, right? We care about the big picture. We are idealistic big picture thinkers. So we just want to know about the big realms. We want to make imaginations and dreams about all the big things, the ideal life that we want to have. And what are what is our dream life going to look like? What are our dream job look like? What will the future look like? So, you know, we're at quantum physics, spirituality. We're like thinking about all these big, big picture things, the high, high level ones. We love thinking about it and we could do it forever and ever and ever. But when it comes down to the details, we are not good at it. We're just not good at details. We're, we don't like it. We're not interested in it. It bores us. It's as if something switches off within me. I know for myself, when I'm going into like details, I'm like, oh, really? Do I have to really care about this? You'll notice if you have read any, any of my books, I do a lot of big picture thinking in that. Like the person or the character will always be like, oh, what's going to happen here? And they'll be dreaming and they'll have all of these amazing, amazing ideas about the future and and big picture thing but then when it comes out of the details of where they're sitting or what does a couch look like or what does their environment look like nothing i have no details at all in that i have to force myself to put some details but like yeah so the grass was green and la la because I, I just don't care you know who cares about where they're sitting because i care more about what's going on in their head where are they thinking where are they going with their minds then what are they where are they traversing what kind of planes and dimensions are they going to so of course, that fascinates me more. 
And so that's my style of writing. And I've kind of give up on the thing. I'm not worried about details that much. If people don't like it, they don't like it. I, that's my style and that's just what I'm going to go with. My sister, on the other hand, she loves details. And even the book she reads, she loves going into it. She's an INTJ. So maybe that's one of the difference, differences between us. But you'll notice that when she does paperwork, she loves it. She goes into details with it. She'll go into each section. She'll find things that I've missed because I'll fill up and fill in a document and I'll give give it to her. And she'll be like, all right, you missed all these different things. And I'm like, what? What did I miss? How could I miss it? I paid so much attention to it. You know, and she'll point these three things out. I'm like, oh, shoot, I didn't even notice them. Because again, details are not our forte. It's someone else's forte. Now, of course, as I said, like loop around. So find a way to go around it. Find other people in your life that are good at it, right? And so if you are in a relationship, then of course your partner hopefully is good at paperwork. Otherwise, you're both in trouble. Uh, for me, as I said, I always go to my sister. She's great at paperwork. She's great at details, um, things like that. So I'll always be like, can you please check this for me? Um, also, also, obviously, you know, I do live on my own. And I'm in Thailand most of the time. I can't sometimes send things to my sister. She's here in Toronto. And so I'm by myself, so I, I have no one around me to be like, all right, can you check this for me? So I've learned because of the force of necessity, I'm like, all right, fine, I guess I just have to do this, right? I have to force myself to do it. And in general, what I say to myself with, when I'm procrastinating is I give myself a deadline. I really have to give myself a deadline because if I don't give myself a deadline, if I don't force myself to do it, nothing else will matter. People could be standing there waiting for me to do something, and I'll be like, no, I'm not doing it, I'm doing something else, right? I, we don't like going around along on someone else's schedule. We like going all along on our schedule, right? So if you know, for example, that your taxes are due April 30th every single year, <laughs> it's not something that changes, it's, at least in Canada, it's always the same. I mean, the corona has changed a bit of it, but I'm guessing next year it's going to be back to normal. I'm, I have no idea. But in general, if you know that there's something you have to do every year, just prepare for it. And so little by little, prepare for it. For example, as I said, the taxes thing. Now, I absolutely despise doing my taxes. I do it myself because it's very easy and simple. Once I get down to it, actually, it only takes me about 30 to 45 minutes because it's simple. The, the software does everything for you. It pulls in all these data, and it's pretty basic, actually, if you think about it. But again, it's a detailed work, and we don't like it. It's paperwork, and we don't like that, and it's not interesting, and we don't like that, and it's not big picture, picture thinking, and we hate it, right? But in general, I'm like, all right, I have to do it. There is no other way. I mean, I could pay someone to do it four or $500, but why? It's such an easy thing for me to do. And so what I do is that every month or every two, three months, I will write down all the details that I would need for my taxes next year. So for example, for my taxes in 2020, so I'll, I'll be doing it next year, obviously. Right now, January, February, March, April, May, me, yeah. So every month I've written down all the details that I would need for my taxes. So what are, I require, what are, what, what are my in incomes? What are my expenses? What my business expenses? What are this and that? And every month I have this ready. So by the end of the year, the whole year is done. I have all this information ready. All I have to do is calculate the totals and put it into the software and I'm done. Right? So this is, as I said, it is... Um, a twist to the thing normally because normally what I'd be like oh my god it's April I have to do my taxes ah and I'd do it in a panic of course I don't like doing that <laughs> I hate panicking about things and so I like a little bit of preparation this one this kind of loop around I figured out a couple of years ago and so I've been doing it for two years and it's so easy because I'm not stressed out about it anymore I, I'm not worried about my paperwork I'm not thinking about it it's easy I know it's easy I just have to sit down and do it. It's 30 minutes. I can spare 30 minutes, 45 minutes max. And I get it done. And the satisfaction that I get, oh my God, I feel so good after, right? And so I know that this is going to happen. And I know this is going to happen every year. So usually by January, February, I sit down and I just get it done. Because I have all the information. I have all the numbers. All I have to do is put it in. So what I'm recommending to you, the person who asked this question, and to all INFJs, is that figure out what works for you. Like figure out a loop around system or some kind of system that will allow you to get the stuff done or rely on someone in your life who's who loves paperwork who likes doing this kind of stuff for example when i go on a holiday with my sister she loves making excel sheets of everything she'll make excel sheets of everything she'll copy and paste all the itinerary into an excel sheet she'll color code it she loves that stuff I will book all the hotels. I love booking hotels. I, I like finding beautiful hostels to stay at or hotels to stay at. Nice ones, cheap ones on Hostel World or whatever it might be. But good ones with a lot of character and things like that. 
I have all these criteria. So I love finding them. Then I'll just forward them all to my sister. And she loves putting it into an itinerary. Okay, this first day we're going to be here. This is what we're going to do. This is how much the cab's going to cost from the airport to the, to the place. This is where we're going to stay. Blah, 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 blah. So she loves doing that stuff. She loves it. She, it's her thing. It's her shindig. And so I just leave it to her. I do what I'm good at, which is booking hotels, booking flights, uh, figuring out what our itinerary should be, like where should we go from place to place, which place should we visit, things like that, asking people, where, where did you, what did you like in Japan? Did you like Kyoto? Did you like uh, Nara Park? Did you like this and that, you know? And so I like doing that. I'll do what I'm good at, and I send it over to her. It's all, like, she doesn't want to do the planning. I'll do the planning. She does all the putting it into Excel sheets, making our itinerary, making sure that we have a list of things to do, and things like that, right? And so, as I said, find find a balance. Right? Find someone who can kind of compliment you or find a loop around system. Find a system to make it work for you because this stuff is important. INFJs have a tendency to forget about the details, forget about paperwork, forget about the things that are necessary for us to live in this world and just focus on being in their heads all the time. Therefore, they're, they miss deadlines, they miss that tax deadlines. They're not living in the real world. We need to live in the real world Spend time in your head. It's fine, of course. Be in your imagination world. But come back to the ground sometimes and get your stuff done. Pay your bills on time. You know, don't pay your credit card bill late all the time. Get stuff done. You know, For me, I don't like paying bills every single month, autom so I automatically put them into my account and they automatically get paid. This way, I don't have to think about it anymore. And I'm not being late for it because I won't be thinking about it. I know I won't. So find systems that work for you. That's the way to do it. Unfortunately, there's no other way to do it. <laughs> I hope this is helpful. I hope that you were able to get some info from it that you can use for your own life. If you have loop arounds or things like that, please share them with us. I'd love to know how you manage to do paperwork and other boring things in your life. How do you motivate yourself? I'd love to know that. Again, thank you for watching and I shall see you guys the next time around. Bye for now.